Hi friends, welcome to another problem solving session on triangles and in this question it's given that any point x inside triangle DEF is joined to its vertices. So x is a point inside the triangle and it is joined to all the three vertices P, E, N, F. From a point P in DX, PQ is drawn parallel to DE. So first information is PQ is drawn parallel to DE and uh, meeting XE at Q, right? So this point is Q and from Q, QR is drawn parallel to EF. So this is these are the two parallel lines such that this point is R. You have to prove that PR is also parallel to DF. Okay. So this is the question. Now, after reading the question carefully, we'll have to understand what method is to be adopted. Now, again, as we have been seeing in all these questions, it's certainly a case of a triangle and there are lots of parallel lines, parallel lines within triangles and uh, the lines are uh, one of the parallel lines is the side of a triangle and then uh, we have to you know conclude that another line is parallel to the third side so the moment these criteria are there so the first thing which comes in mind is BPT or Thales theorem Thales theorem okay now so how to apply Thales theorem here and what is Thales theorem by the way so you know if there is a triangle and there is a line parallel to one of the sides then let's say ABCDE so you know by Thales theorem AB by DB is equal to AE by EC and the converse of Thales theorem is also true converse of Thales theorem is that if this is ascertained that this is the ratio then the line which is you know, uh, cutting the two sides at point D and E will be parallel to BC. The so hence, if this is this goes to here, so this also comes back to here. Okay, this is what uh, we have learned in 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 case of Thales theorem and converse of Thales theorem. Now, so consider triangle XDE. Right, this is a triangle where you see there are two lines parallel. Uh, what is what are the parallel lines? PQ is parallel to DE. So what can we write about it? So we can write XP upon PD. XP upon PD will be equal to XQ upon XQ upon QE. Let this be relation number one. And why is this? This is by, by basic proportionality theorem. Correct. Now, again, in triangle, in triangle X E F again so we are I'm picking up that triangle where I can go ahead with this ratio so again if you see XQ again in this triangle what will be this XQ upon QE will be equal to XR upon RF this is equation 2 let's say so you can now write from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 what do we get we get uh, XP by PD is equal to XQ by QE so XP by PD is equal to XQ by QE by QE is equal to XR by RF that means I can equate these two as well that means XP upon PD is equal to XR upon RF, isn't it? Right now, if you see XP upon PD is equal to XR by RF, what does it mean? It means that this side by this side is equal to this by this. So, hence, by converse of converse of BPT, we get PR is parallel to FD. Isn't it? This is what you needed to prove by converse of BPT. What is converse of BPT? We just learned that if in a triangle, if this is a triangle and there's a line like this, and let's say ABC, 
and let's say uh, D and E and it is given that AD by DB is equal to AE by EC then this results this means that DE is parallel to BC this was converse of Thales theorem correct that's what we used here and hence we got PR to be parallel to FD I hope you understood the solution so try some more problems similar to these types from a standard textbook.